Todd and Julie Chrisley recently won a million-dollar settlement from the state of Georgia, but the federal government is now demanding it back. According to court documents obtained by RadarOnline.com, the feds are seeking permission to seize a large payment so the money can be used to pay back some of the $17 million the incarcerated reality stars owe eight different banks. The federal government said they only recently learned of the million-dollar payment and believe Chrisley's has the money. From the lawyer and the firm, even though Todd and Julian and the lawyer said the seven-figure payment still hasn't reached their account. However, that money did not go directly to Todd or Julie, and neither received any money from the settlement. But many of their previously owed debts, including some of the prejudgment money, have been paid in whole or in part. Because those payments solved some of their debts and thereby changed their financial circumstances in material country, the defendants found it reasonable to notify the court and the U.S. attorney in accordance with the law, their attorney told RadarOnline.com. The judge has not yet ruled on the government's proposal. Todd and Julie, the settlement comes years after they first filed a federal lawsuit against Joshua Waits, the former director of special investigations for the State Department of Revenue. Previously reported, in the lawsuit, fraudsters accused Waits of unfairly targeting them in a tax fraud case, claiming the former special investigator tried to gather information about Lovebirds by talking to Todd's daughter, Lindsay. We have been saying for months that the criminal case against the Chrysleys was very unusual and had real problems, Chrisley and family attorney Alex Little of Burr and Foreman LP previously reported. This settlement is an encouraging sign. Little emphasized that Todd and Chrisley are currently appealing their lengthy prison sentences. It is almost unprecedented for one branch of government to pay off defendants while the other side fights to keep them in prison. The original October 2019 lawsuit was filed by Chris Lee Knows Best Star's former attorney Michael J. Bowers and defendant Waits accusing Todd Angeli of being a shocking example of how an out-of-control official can abuse his office and violate the rights of innocent citizens for reasons that have more to do with publicizing his office and securing money. Law Enforcement